Hi! In this short video, I'm going to show you how to import data from an Excel file within the Power BI service. So I logged into PowerBI.com and now I'm going to go ahead and get my data. So in the bottom left corner, I click on Get Data and I'm going to choose to get data from a file. So I'm going to choose a local file, but if you can save your Excel file on your OneDrive for Business account, if you have Office 365, you might want to do that. Because Office 365, therefore OneDrive for Business, and Power BI use the same login information, Azure Active Directory, then they share the same password. So if you access data from a OneDrive for Business account, about once an hour, the Power BI service will go and check that Excel file to see if there are any changes to it. So that's a great way to have things automatically refresh for you. But the data I want is on a local file, so I'm going to go ahead and just select that Excel file. Now that I've selected that Excel file, I have two options. I can either, either import or I can upload. We're going to do an upload in another video, so I'm going to just choose to import the data from that Excel file. And it is now loaded. So here it is. This happens to be a uh, dashboard that it created, even though there are no visuals. And what I could do now is utilize the Q&A feature. So I'm going to say show salesperson code by um, and sales amount, let's say. We'll keep it simple. So here it is. This one happens to be using nav data, but here it is, a salesperson visual. And I could choose to pin this down to this existing dashboard that I created. And now when I exit Q&A, I've started building out a dashboard. You'll also notice if I go to my workspace, there are no reports, but there is a data set. So I could actually go through and create a report using this data set. So if I go to reports and then click on create and report, I'll select my data set, I'll create that, and now I can build another visual. This time I'm gonna grab city, and then I'm going to grab the country and put that in the location as well. And I'm gonna grab the postal code and put that in the location also. Then let me put the sales into the size, and now I'm getting some visuals on where my sales are located. Once done, I can click on save, enter the name for this report, and now I have a report, and I could choose to pin this to that same dashboard. So when I go back to my dashboards, I'm now building on top of it. That's how easy it is to import data from an Excel file.